Hello ITPC, Northeast Paper UK here. Bit of a windy, blustery Sunday here in the UK. I hope you've all had a great weekend. Smoking my Country Gentleman and in it and my final thoughts on it is the John Aylesbury Dragon Flake. This has sort of been my tobacco trial for the month of June and um, it wasn't what I was expecting when I first tried it. I was suggested to smoke it in a cob. Um, someone mentioned somewhere that it can it can go to pipe. So I was expecting something really, really strong. But nevertheless, to be on the safe side, I've I've kept it I've kept it in the country gentleman. Now the strange thing is when I first smoked this I actually thought it was a it was a cherry aromatic but when I looked into it obviously it was sort of like a, a maple syrup and a vanilla and when I tried some of the Captain Black cherry a few days ago and um, I was sorting out the pouches and put them in jars. I thought, oh, I'll have, a, I'll have a Captain Black Cherry. When I tried that, I was like, poor, my God, that was like instant cherry fix. And then when I sort of had one of these, I realized that I'd got it totally wrong. So yeah, bad one on that score. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, I have to say I've really enjoyed it. When I first smoked it, I was doing a roll and stuff method. Just putting a few sprinkles on the top. But then I changed that. I decided to rub it out and then smoke it that way. And I found that by rubbing this down, I thought it smoked better. Um, It's not too over the top in the flavourings either. Again, because it's so light, I couldn't pick up on what was actually in there. And I would put this, maybe it's in the same category as a cold Blood Red Moon. Just that nice little subtle flavouring in the background and it doesn't overpower too much. Again, unlike the Captain Black Midnight Gold, which I was smoking there a few weeks ago, that is heavily on the flavouring and a bit too overpowering. I was having to actually put a few few sprinkles of letter key in there towards the end just to take the edge off the, the harshness of the of the fruity flavours in that. Um, so I think if you were looking to break into aromatics, if you were going from just sort of straight Virginia and you want to try something different, I don't think you can go wrong with this. And again, such as the Cold Blood Red Moon, I think they both 
sort of a really nice starting point for an aromatic rather than going into the right, you know, like, like your Captain Black grapes and that type of thing. Um, I really have enjoyed this. I've been usually having a bowl as my first smoke on the morning. Um, I've been having one of these and then later in the day either a latte key or, or, some, or something else or vice versa. I've started the day with a latte key and I've finished the day with one of these. Um, I've grown to like it and enjoy it. And it's certainly one I'll definitely think about getting in the future. Um, one other good thing about this was I was having a bowl might have been last weekend and Karen was pottering around in the garden and she was getting whiffs of this drifting down to her when she was she was out there and she really enjoyed it she said she thought it was really nice so again that's another plus point that the sort of secondary aroma of this is a pleasant one Got a score of just under four on uh, smokingpipes.com. So again, if you want to look into more on this, if you just Google it, you'll get better interpretations of it than what I can offer. And um, again, this is really just my thoughts on this one. And as you know, I, I do like aromatics, though I did go off them a little bit. And um, I think because I've been trying so many different brands and different flavours recently that when I'd gone on to an aromatic I really struggled with it but this one's just been a, another nice one just to reintroduce us back into it again I haven't had any midnight gold since I started smoking this so it'll be interesting to see what my thoughts are having a bowl of that I might have one of those later on and see what, see what I think about it don't really get a lot of tongue bite from this I mean even drawn on it really hard there again if that was um, any other type of aromatic that would be searing the shit out of my tongue right now but with this being great so again I've been smoking it in the cob and I think it's just been a, a really great blend of smoke in this and um, I don't have a filter in here. I do have a stinger, um, but no, I've had no no issues with any serious tongue bite or anything like that. Again, I haven't gone mad on it. I've made the tin last as a month and I've still got a little bit left in there, so I've still got a few more bowls that I can get out of the tin. Um, so rather than just sort of spend a week with it and really go at it, I thought I'd really take my time with it and, and see if it would grow on us. Because um, again, I've, I've smoked a few tobaccos recently and I've sort of give a hasty review and then when I've got towards the end of the tin, 
it's changed because I thought, you know, that, that, I've really enjoyed this because I've took my time with it. And um, again, that happened recently with the Hood Canal. When I first started smoking it, I really wasn't too sure about it. But as you went through the tin, and I finished that one a couple of days ago, and it, that totally rechanged my thoughts on it. And it was the one that I ended up enjoying a lot. So it does pay not to rush into, into doing a review on a tobacco. So yeah, with this one, I would probably give it a, a three and a half out of five. Um, I haven't really looked online to see what it's like for availability. Um, naturally, this was gifted to me by Yanez. So naturally, it's, it's, been, it's come from abroad. So I, I don't know what it's like for ordering from the UK or the States. I haven't really looked into it yet. I think I've got so many so many things on the go at the moment um, but it is a one that I would definitely think about having as a couple of spare ones in the cellar and again for this sort of weather when it's got you've got a nice sunny day a nice cup of coffee just sit down and again I think this would be a really nice after dinner smoke if you've had a nice meal and you want to skip dessert grab yourself one of these and it's just got that nice nice pleasant taste to it and it doesn't really see your tongue and make your eyes water so yeah um I'm not sure what tobacco to do for July now. Um, I was going to do the Captain Black Black Sea, um, but with receiving a few tobaccos the other day, and there's a couple of others sort of caught my eye, so I'm not sure which one to smoke now. And um, so I'll have to have a think about that today and come to a decision. I'm keeping the mellow mixture for August because again I, I opened that and tried it and found out obviously it's an aromatic but like this it's a nice subtle pleasant one so I'm quite looking forward to trying that in August so if you haven't tried this and again if you're thinking of going into aromatics see if you can grab one um, like I say if it isn't e easily available where you are then I would definitely recommend going with the Cult Blood Red Moon. But if you can get one, grab it, try it, let us know what you think. So I hope you have a great end to your weekend. For those of you across the water in the States, I hope you have a great 4th of July. And um, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you all again. And wherever you are, I hope you're safe. You're well and you're happy. Enjoying a ball. I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye for now.